What's up, family? Happy Thanksgiving. I know today's not Thanksgiving. I just want to be the first person to tell you happy Thanksgiving, man. I hope it's a great one. I hope you get a chance to spend time with your family, with your friends, with your loved ones. And yeah, be gluttonous. Eat a lot. Don't argue too much with your relatives. Maybe that's just me. But listen, happy Thanksgiving. I was actually thinking about a story back when I was like 10, 11 years old. I don't, if you're anything like me, like Thanksgiving, you go hard in the paint. Like it's time to eat. It's time to do your thing. And I can remember being like 10, 11, and I walk into the living room with my plate. And I'm about to smash. Come on, I had green beans. I had baked macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes, you name it. Listen, I'm already in my mind. I'm already there. But I walk into the, to the room and I'm eating and I have like food falling off the side of my plate. You know how it is. Like when you try to stack three or four more things on there and you know you shouldn't do it, but you do it anyways and you're about to do it this Thursday. That was me. And I'm stacking stuff and I, and I get in the living room and I'm eating and food's like falling off, like sweet potatoes dropping off. And I can remember my uncle just looking at me like, I'm like, what's up, Uncle? He's just looking at me. He said, boy, are you slow? See, this is, these. listen, if you're a word of affirmation person, you're, my family's not for you. Like, my uncle was like, are you slow or are you dumb? I'm like, uh, Uncle, I know, man. I put, I put too much food on my plate. I probably shouldn't have put this much food on the plate. He said, no, dummy. You don't need less food. You, you just need a bigger plate. And I'm like, he said, yeah, the big plates were beside all the food. That, that's for dessert, fool. He said, you just need a bigger plate. And as I think about my life, like sometimes we feel like, man, I have too much stuff on my plate. Mm -hmm. Like I have too much stuff going on. Like I work a full time job. Like I'm a business owner. My kids have to go to dance or they have to go to football practice. In addition to that, I volunteer here. I do this. I do that. And we feel like we just don't have enough time today. We feel like we need less. And what I'm saying to you is in this season that you're going into, you're about to get everything that you've been praying for. Like harvest season, actually it's hustle season. There's more work to do when God's blessing you with the bigger harvest. So the thing is, you don't need less to do. You just need a bigger plate, aka you need to grow your capacity. Like you just need more capacity to handle the things that God's given you. So here's a couple ways that I've learned to grow my capacity. The first thing is how much time am I investing in myself and my mind? How am I growing my mind? Because as I grow my mind, I realize that there's more ways that I can handle what I'm doing in a way that's efficient. Most people, you're just adding stuff to your plate and you're not being very efficient and that's when you feel overwhelmed. The second thing, I did not have a second thing. I didn't think through that. I said two things. I was like, oh, you shouldn't have said that. So I have grow your mind. But then also, with that being said, learn how to shut some things down. So learn how to shut down social media every once in a while. Learn how to limit the distractions because then you can begin hearing not just from God, but you can begin seeing things more clearly. So mm, there's two. I knew I could do it. Grow your mind. Grow your capacity. Eliminate distractions. So hey, happy Thanksgiving. I love you so much. Thank you for taking time to watch this. Hey, also stay tuned. This week, oh, your boy has a big announcement. I'm in my mother-in-law's house acting a fool right now. I have a big announcement. Stay locked. Happy Thanksgiving. I love you so much. We'll talk soon.